If you're a freshman and you know a senior in this room, you give him everything in your body today. You break your neck to break their neck. That's how you win big games. You hit them in the mouth. You hit them in the mouth, kings. Every single one of y'all in here are kings. You kings. So when you step on that field again, you don't say, let's go, my nigga. You say, let's go, king. This is our house. I was born a king. I was born to be a winner. I was born to be a champion. The difference between a champion and a loser is a mindset. Once you put your mindset, once you put your mindset where a killer mindset is, ain't nobody gonna stop you. Because I'm gonna tell you now, this game is not for nice people. And y'all know that this game is not for nice people. This game is for young men running around neighborhoods knowing if they don't make a play, if they don't get a scholarship, they gonna die in that neighborhood. They gonna end up another statistic. See, some people play the game for the Gatorade and the cheerleaders. And some people play the game because they know they gotta save their family life. They gotta make a way. They family tree is rotten, so they gotta replant one. And what football gives you the ability to do, it gives you the ability to leave the slum, go to one of the nicest colleges in the world, build your own name, build your own legacy, get drafted, and tell your mama and your daddy and your sister, we leaving the hood today. And you know why we leaving? Because I was unselfish. Because I left everything, I left everything on the field. I want you guys to believe. Don't just listen to me. Feel me in your soul. Believe you can win. Believe you can win. Because we only get one shot at this thing. We didn't come this far to come this far. I'm going to repeat that. We didn't come this far to come this far. We came here to be champions. We came here to be one of the number one schools in the country. We came here to show even people in our own city that's doubting us. That you will be my fan. You will follow me and you will bite your words. Because that head coach, you got all these coaches, all these men around you. That's the blessing. That's who you play for. Because at the end of the day, you guys are going to tell you it's going to go fast. It's going to go fast. One day you're going to be riding down the street, you're going to see your coach, you're going to say, Coach, all the lessons you gave me, I should have listened. It's going to be somebody that say that. I should have listened. But tonight, if you listen to every single word them coaches say, if you be unselfish, if you don't think about yourself, if you don't think about that, all them thousands of fans standing on the outside, put your mind frame on the field. Keep your mind frame on the field. And when you step off that bus, you tighten up your tie and you say, this is my business trip. Are you going to close the deal or are you going to fold? When I stepped on the field, I had a, I had a mind frame. My mother was a heroin addict. So when, when I stepped on the field, I thought about, I want to save my mama life. This man in front of me is going to stop me from saving my mom. It's going to stop me from saving my brothers and my sisters. It's going to stop me from taking my brothers and sisters away from crackheads and drug addicts every day. And when I lifted my opponent across from me, I told him, you not hungry enough. You don't want this enough. My life on the line. You hear me, King? Your life on the line today. Everything on the line. If you go out there and you let them hit you in your mouth and beat you, you quit. Them teenage boys just like you teenage boys. They bleed just like you. They go to class just like you. So you're going to let a man stand in front of you and say, I'm more man than you? Or you're going to hit him in the mouth and say, hey boys, we came to fight. I ain't got to talk to you. I ain't got to bicker to you. I'm going to hit you in your mouth for 60 minutes. Kings, whatever you do today, 
You leave every drop of your blood on that field today. And I'm proud of you. We ain't lost a draw. But I want y'all to remember one thing, King. Remember one thing. The best gifts come from the bottom. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when you open up that cereal box as a kid, that gift was at the bottom. You had to eat through all that to get that gift at the bottom. And that's your season. That's your season. You had to eat through all that. Coach is cussing you out, trying to get your grades together, arguing in the study hall, arguing with teammates, fighting with teammates. Now, today is the day that you put all that in the package. You put all that in the grenade and you blow Hoover Stadium up tonight. And you let them know that Sparkman football is here for years to come. But the legacy, it starts today. Wide receivers, run every route like your life depends on. Linebackers, break your neck to break their neck. I don't care about injuries. Offensive line, get nasty. Get nasty. If you hit him in the first play of the game, hit him in his mouth. I don't care if it's a straw play. You block him till the whistle is over with. Make him say this dude is extra. Make him say this dude is crazy. If you believe, King, anything is possible. Anything is possible. I'm King Hollis, man. I love y'all. Go out there and become champion. Y'all be blessed.